Hey guys, Dr. Rob here, day number two. Thanks for coming back. Uh, we're gonna take a few minutes to finish setting up your account. So come over here to Office Profile. And as a review, we finished a couple of things here, added in a couple of pictures. And right now we're going to improve your customizable form, referral form. Now this is products and service list that is shown on your referral form. So as an example, here it is. Uh, when they pull up your name here, this will be the things that you want them to be able to click on. They can add other things if they want, but this will allow them to know that you provide those services. So we put down a couple of generic things for you, depending on your specialty. You can delete those and just add in the ones that you want to have there for your customizable form. So go ahead and do that. Now next we're going to go to review sites. Now this is important because 24 hours after you see a patient, they're gonna get a text message asking them to review you. And the idea here is for the referring doctor to be able to know that you're treating their patients great because you work really hard, do a good job, and it's nice to have those referring doctors get some good feedback, but also it helps build your Google reviews. Now, um, specialists oftentimes uh, overlook the importance of having good reviews online, but this will help generate those reviews for you, which are becoming more and more important. So Google reviews, as we all know, are, is the most important thing. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. So we're gonna push, put uh, Google as number one in the sequence. Then I want you to open up, um, I'm gonna have you open up a different browser and just put in the name of your practice. So I'll put in Cedar Dental Center, Google reviews. And then it brings up this form right here. And then I click on write a review and I copy this URL and then come back to the profile page and I paste it right here and push save. It's real important that you push save and then come down here and update. <coughs> Excuse me. So now what happens is if they if they give you a review that's one, two, or a three, so they had a bad experience, it will just come over here to your review dashboard and it won't push them onto Google. But if they get a four or a five, it'll actually push them onto Google where they can leave a review for you there and start building your Google reviews. If you wanna try that out, then go ahead and push invite, put it in your own email address and push invite and then follow the prompts and you'll be able to see the Google image right here underneath the review site if it actually worked and you'll be able to see if you could leave a, a review there for yourself. Okay, one more thing for today. We're going to have you come up here and go to insurance provider. And here you're just gonna go through all the different insurances and, and click on the ones that you do accept. Now, if you don't wanna do this, then find a staff member that uh, <laughs> you wanna have do it for you. But uh, just go in and all the ones that you do accept, go ahead and click those. It will take you a few minutes to do that. But this will be nice because we do have an insurance filter when they send a referral and when they, let's select, they pick Aflac and then they choose your name here. If you do accept it, it will turn up green. And so that will be really nice for them to not have to call your office and ask you if you accept a certain insurance. So that's the last thing you'll do today and we'll see you tomorrow. Good job.